Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Dolly Plum. <laughs> Elephant! Elephant! Big! <laughs> What are the twins up to? They sound like a herd of elephants. They're being very noisy. Ah, oh, good. They've gone quiet. Quiet isn't good. It means they're up to something. You better go up and see, Nanny. Yes, Your Majesty. Daisy, Poppy, Dolly. Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, what have you done? Turn me back at once. Hello, I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> Nan is taking a long time. Should we have a look? You know what the twins are like. Naughty. Very naughty. I'm Dolly Plum. Change my nappy, please. <laughs> I didn't know the twins had a Nanny Plum doll. Mm, they don't. I think that is Nanny Plum. That's right. It is me. Can you please turn me back? Poor Nanny. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Not all this noise again. Couldn't you be a dolly for a while just to keep them quiet? No way. I have a lot of work to get on with. There's the washing and the iron. Ah! Dolly Plum, Dolly Plum. <laughs> ah, peace and quiet. Carry on, Nanny. Now what am I going to do? I won't get any work done if I stay like this. Don't worry, Nanny. I can turn you back. Oh, thanks, Holly. <laughs> now the twins are crying again. I know. The elves could make a Nanny Plum doll. Elves are good at making things. And I'm an elf. <laughs> good idea, Ben. Wise old elf. Can you make a Nanny Plum doll? It's for the twins. <laughs> well, now, what does this doll look like? Dolly Plum. Ah! Uh, it looks like that. Oh, I see. Daisy, Poppy, you turn me back this instant or I'll... I'm Dolly Plum. Feed me, please. <laughs> yes, I think we can make a copy of this. Come along, please. If I press your tummy, will you sing a song? Don't you even think of pressing my tummy. Dolly Plum is lots of fun. <laughs> you are indeed. You are indeed. So, how are you going to copy me? We'll use this copying machine. This is how it works. If we take this tennis ball and put it right here... <laughs> An exact copy. Ooh. Now for Dolly Plum. Um, actually, I've changed my mind. Can you put me down, please? I don't think I want to do this today. Thank you. Thank you, Nanny. You just have. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yes, Your Majesty. No, Your Majesty. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. <laughs> it does a bit, Nanny. Dolly Plum. It's a perfect copy. Yes, and now that we've copied Nanny, we can make as many as we want. Hold on. Let's stick to one, just to keep the twins happy. I quite agree. One Nanny Plum is quite enough. Fine. Now, will someone please magic me back again? OK, Nanny. Oh, that's better. Now I can get on with my work. My, my dolly! Dolly! My dolly! My dolly. dolly. Wow. <laughs> oh, dear. They want a dolly each. Wow. But we promised Nanny Plum we'd only make one. One more wouldn't <laughs> hurt. Just to keep the twins happy. <laughs> my dolly. My dolly. Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Ooh, look. It's a Nanny Plum doll. I'm Dolly Plum. I'm sleepy. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get her? She's really funny. Can I have one? Me too. Me too. Oh, we're only supposed to make one, and I've already made two. Please. 
<laughs> well, I suppose it's all right to make a few more. Thank you. Hello, I'm yes, Your Majesty. Hello, Your Majesty. Um, it's so sweet. Oh, ho ho! What's this? Whatever. These are rather good. Are we making them? They're just a one-off. Uh, of ten. But they seem to be rather popular. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> Hello. 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 Indeed. Perhaps we should make more. <laughs> da 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 da. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Dolly Plum. <laughs> Dolly Plum. Careful with that, Daisy. It's the only dolly of its kind in the world. Dolly Plum. My Dolly Plum. Oh, it seems that there are two of them. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to have a word with that wise old elf. Ah, Nanny Plum. Don't you Nanny Plum me. I said make only one dolly and you've made two. Uh, yes. Sorry, Nanny Plum. Yes, well, don't let it happen again. Uh, righto. <gasps> He's made loads of them! He's lots of fun. <gasps> this is outrageous! Right! Wise old elf! Wise old elf! Where are you? <laughs> Just how many of these things have you made? <gasps> There's hundreds! Uh, thousands, actually. I don't believe! It. But they are very popular. Let me show you one in its gift box. Gift box? Ooh, Dolly, Dolly Plum. Daisy, Poppy, don't you even think about... Ah! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy. Here we are. Oh, where's Nanny gone? Daisy, Poppy, turn me back at once. Hello. Have you fallen off the production line? No, no, it's me. I'm not a toy. I'm Nanny Plum. She was here, but she seems to have vanished. <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, did you magic Nanny into a dolly again? Dolly! Dolly! Oh, no! Nanny must be in one of these boxes. Oh. But there are thousands of them. How are we going to find her? We'll have to open up every one. Oh, we'd better get started. Hug me, please. Hmm, too nice. You're my best. Friends. Too friendly. Oh, I thought I'd be stuck there forever. Thank you, wise old elf. Too polite. Wait! I really am the real Nanny Plum. No, no. You're a dolly. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. I'm not. You're just a very clever doll. I know. I made you. OK, smarty pants. If I'm just a doll, I wouldn't be able to do magic, would I? Of course not. Dollies can't do magic. Holly, one, please. I'm going to turn you into a slug. Ha! Just you try. <laughs> OK. You are Nanny Plum. <laughs> Oof, that's better. Uh, Nanny, can you turn me back too, please? OK. Silly old elf, back to yourself. <laughs> you promised you'd only make one doll and you've made thousands. But Nanny... It's an honour to have a toy that looks like you. Oh, is it? Well, let's see how you like it. I'm a grumpy old elf. <laughs> <laughs> Very amusing. If you're quite finished. Nearly. I'm, I'm a grumpy old elf. I'm, I'm a grumpy old elf. elf. Now I'm finished. Oh, dear. How undignified. What are we going to do with all these? Well, Daisy and Poppy like them. Look. Elfie, Elfie. <laughs> you know, I think fairies are rather last year. This year, elf dollies will be the thing. I'm old and wise with twinkly eyes. Hmm, you are a handsome little fellow. I can see why the children like you. And you've got lots of them now. Yes, thousands. Hooray! Elves like tooting their horns. And we're elves. Oh, no! Cover your ears. <laughs> To 
today's adventure starts at the Elf Farm. Miss Jolly's Riding Club. Now, as you can see, Ben, the cabbages are ready to eat. Yes, Dad. Fascinating things, cabbages. Yes, Dad. Today we'll be harvesting them. Then we can have cabbage soup every night. Yes, Dad. We can have cabbage soup Monday, cabbage soup Tuesday, cabbage soup Wednesday, cabbage soup. Hi, Ben. Oh, hi, Holly. We're off to Miss Jolly's snail riding club. Yeah, snails, horrible things. No, they're adorable. There's Dobbin. <laughs> and Robin Hood. He's the cheeky one. <laughs> I want to ride Cupcake. He's lovely. They're all lovely. <laughs> snails are not lovely. They eat up my cabbages. But they're so fun to ride. Would you boys like to come along? Riding club sounds a bit girly to me. It's not girly. The snails can go pretty fast. I suppose we could try it. Yes, cowboys ride, don't they? We could wear our cowboy hats. All right, let's go. <laughs> Just keep those snails away from my cabbages. <laughs> Jolly's Riding Club. But where's Miss Jolly? Whoa, trigger! <laughs> Steady, boy! Hello, everyone! Morning, Miss Jolly! Are you ready for a good day's riding? Yes, Miss Jolly! Spiffing! I see we have some cowboys here today. Yee-haw! <laughs> One thing to remember, snails don't like loud noises. They're quite shy. Yes, Miss Jolly. Don't worry, Trigger. The cowboy is your friend. <laughs> Jolly good. Let's go and meet your snails. Here are Dobbin, Muffin, Cupcake. They're so adorable. Toffee, Bobby, Speedy, Robin Hood and Samson. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? Samson doesn't seem to have a shell. That's because he's a slug. Ugh. A slug. Who would want to ride a slug? <laughs> now, children, you must never walk behind a snail. Why not? It might give you a jolly good kick, that's why. Woohoo! Speedy's got a bit of spirit. <laughs> <laughs> you need to get to know your snails. Hold out your hand so they can sniff it. <laughs> Hello, Bobby. The snails will be shy until they get to know you. Give Bobby a pat on the shell. Come on, Bobby. Don't be frightened. Well done. Now she's your friend. Can we ride them now? First, there's jobs to be done, like mucking out the stables. What's mucking out? Cleaning up snail poo. Snail poo? Ew. <laughs> Everyone take a bucket and spade. Off you go. Snail poo. It's all smelly and squelchy. <laughs> That's the spirit. <laughs> Excellent. And now you must all wash your hands. <laughs> Next, it's grooming. What's grooming? Cleaning and polishing. Everyone take a brush and give the shells a jolly good scrub. We'll groom Speedy. <laughs> Easy now. Easy now. We just want to polish your shell. Whoa, steady boy. He's a bit frisky, this one. Good boy. Bobby's looking very nice. So is Dobbin. <laughs> Look at Muffin. He's so shiny. Excellent job. Lovely. Well done. Now, before we ride the blighters, they need some nosh. What's nosh? Food. Everybody take some vegetables and hold them out for the snails. Here's a carrot, Robin Hood. Here you go, Bobby. A lovely cabbage leaf. They like fresh vegetables. They're 
so hungry. Oh, yes. They'd eat all day if you let them. <laughs> now, time for the riding. Everybody choose a snail. Oh, can I ride Bobby, please? Yes. <laughs> I'm on a snail. I'll ride Robin Hood. <laughs> I'll ride Muffin. Toffee. Cupcake. I'll ride Speedy. Ah, the thing is, Speedy hasn't been broken in yet. What do you mean? I mean, no one has ever ridden him. He's too frisky. <laughs> yes, he's a young one, full of beans, you know. Can I be the first to ride Speedy today? You can have a go, but you need to get on his back and he'll try and throw you off. Sounds like a job for an elf cowboy. I like your spirit, Cowboy Ben. Speedy, steady boy. That's it, Speedy. Yee That was amazing. I've never seen anything like it. Well done, Cowboy Ben. Yee So, young Jake. What's it to be? Dobbin or Samson? Um, maybe Dobbin. It's strange, isn't it, Samson? No one ever seems to want to ride you. <laughs> Never mind. You stay here and have a rest. Off we go, then. Uh, Miss Jolly? Yes? How do we tell our snails to move? Tell them to trot on. Trot! On. On. <laughs> Let's go snail riding. <laughs> Wonderful day for a snail ride. What? Where are we going? Just around the meadow. Uh, Miss Jolly, Samson the Slug is following us. Oh, I see. Keep going. I'll catch you up in a minute. Now then, you naughty slug. You're not meant to be on the ride. Back to the stables with you. <laughs> Keep up, everyone. Hmm, which way now? Miss Jolly said just round the meadow. Hmm, this way then. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> What's happening? Well, I suppose he knows where he's going. All right, elves, let's get these cabbages loaded. It's a bumper crop. Yes, we managed to keep all the pests off them this year. No green fly. No caterpillars. And most important of all, no snails. Snail alert! Snail alert! <laughs> The cabbages into the elf truck. Boy, get off me vegetables! Save the cabbages! Stop! Stop! What are these snails doing here? Uh, we're just doing a riding class. Come on! It's no good. They're eating faster than we can carry. Snails, stop! Oh, you cheeky little snails. Cheeky? They've eaten half our cabbages. Well, if you will grow such delicious cabbages, what do you expect? But, but... Children, did you all have a nice ride today? Yes! Thank you, Miss Jolly. It's a pleasure. And we should also say a jolly big thank you to Mr Elf for giving the snails such a lovely lunch. It was my pleasure. Mind you, if they're going to eat at your place again, they really like lettuce the best. Grow a bit of that next time. All right. <laughs> People think snails are a pest, but they're adorable, really. Yes, 
They're so lovely and cute and cuddly. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Superheroes! <laughs> Hi, everyone! Hi, Hi Ben! Ben. I'm not Ben. Yes, you are. Ben is my usual name. But when I put on my superhero costume, I become Elfman. What does Elf Boy do? Elfman. He can run and jump and fly. That's not flying. This is flying. Uh, but I can fly in the Elfmobile. <coughs> bow, bow, bow. But that's just Gaston. No. It's the Elfmobile. Oh, oh. The Elfmobile can go on land, sea or air. Ooh. We can be superheroes too. Yes. yes. I'll be Fairy Girl. I'll be Captain Crazy. I'll be the strongest boy in the world. And we can all do nice things and help people. Hang on. We can't all be goodies. Someone has to be the baddie. The what? You know, a supervillain. Can I be the supervillain? OK, Strawberry. Do I help people too? No. You have to try and take over the world. The whole world? Well, maybe we should just start with the little kingdom. And I'll try and stop you. OK. I will be the Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry ice cream? Ice queen, not cream. Oh. Super villains always have a gang. We'll be the gang. So, it will be Elf Man and Fairy Girl against Strawberry Ice Queen and her gang. <laughs> the goodies will win. The baddies will win. No, the goodies will win. To the Elfmobile. Come on, Fairy Girl. Do your worst, Ice Queen. OK, fairy girl. Bye! I'm the Ice Queen, so maybe I should make it a bit cold. It's chilly! Yes, that's because I'm the Ice Queen. Sorry. My goodness, it's cold! Yes, and in the middle of summer. Very odd. Very odd indeed. <laughs> It's gone all cold. I bet the Ice Queen has something to do with that. Yes. Let's go to the Elf Cave. This is just Gaston's house. Well, today it's the Elf Cave. Here's the Elf Computer. I invented it myself. But it's a cardboard box. Ah, as I thought, Strawberry Ice Queen has made it cold on purpose. But how do you know that? There's nothing on the screen. <sighs> it's pretend, remember, Holly? Oh, yes. The computer doesn't really work. That would be crazy. Whoa! <laughs> it's me, the Ice Queen. How are you, Elf Boy? Elf Man! And how did you do that? This computer's just a cardboard box. I can do anything. I'm the one who made it cold. Ha! I wouldn't say it's that cold. No, we're not even wearing gloves. Ha! Oh, yes? I can make it colder if you like. Do your worst. You'll never stop Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll see about that. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Lunchtime! Oh, I've got to go. I'm having pizza for lunch. Pizza? Can we all come too? Can we? Please! OK, you can all come for pizza. There you are. I was getting worried what with this mad weather. Mum, my friends have come for lunch too. Is that OK? Yes, of course. We're superheroes. And super villains. <laughs> That's nice. Who wants pizza? Yes, please! <laughs> <laughs> we can't stop long. I've got to take over the world. And Ben and I have to save the world. Oh, good. So you'll need to keep your strength up then. Hmm. What's the best way of taking over the world? You are the Ice Queen. You could make it snow. Yes, maybe I will. Thanks, fairy girl. Come on, let's get on with the game. 
We're off to our secret hideout. Us too. Bye. 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 OK, I'm going to make it snow. Snow, 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 snow. <laughs> snow now as well. In July. Oh, this is ridiculous. Wise old elf. Wise old elf. There's something you have to see. Eh? What's that? Come with me. I'll show you. Is it much further? I'm freezing. We're here. Look. What on earth? Where are we? The very edge of the little kingdom. And the snow stops here. Snow? No snow. Snow? No snow. Snow? Yes. Thank you, Mrs Elf. We get the idea. No snow. But what is causing this strange snow? It's magic. Magic. And I'll bet my beard that Nanny Palum has done it. Dee dee da dum dee dum dee do. Dee dee da dum. Nanny Palum, whatever you're doing, stop it. What? The washing? No, the snow. It's not my fault. Oh, come on, Nanny. It's always your fault. No, it's normally my fault, but not today. Then who on earth is doing it? Maybe it's a supervillain. Oh, don't be ridiculous, Nanny Plum. Why is that ridiculous? Because supervillains don't exist. What about superheroes? They don't exist either. It's a lot of nonsense. Then what? What's that? It's a superhero symbol in the sky. Oh, let's find out where it's coming from. Now, when the people of the world need help, they'll know where to find the elf cave. Really? Will people really ask us for help? Well, no. It's just a game. No one is actually going to knock on the door. Huh? Hello? Is anyone there? That's my dad. Anyone home? Isn't this where Gaston lives? Maybe a superhero lives here too. That's the silliest thing I've heard in all my life. Hello, this is Elfman and Fairy Girl. We are superheroes. See, told you. Elfman? Who's Elfman? Can we come in? No, our secret identities have to remain a, a secret. Can you help us? The whole of the little kingdom is covered in snow. Yes, that's the work of the Ice Queen. She is a supervillain. You see, a supervillain. All right, all right. Leave your problem with Elf Man and Fairy Girl. We'll take care of it. Thank you, Elf Boy. Ah, oh, Elf Man. We have to find Strawberry's secret hideout and tell her to stop the snow. <laughs> The whole of the little kingdom is freezing cold. Even in here? Yes. My bottom is getting cold sitting on the ice throne. Couldn't you be the sunshine queen instead? It's too late now. I'm Strawberry Ice Queen. <laughs> Strawberry's hideout must be around here somewhere. We need to look out for a sort of place that a supervillain ice queen might live in. Uh, like that? Giant palace of ice. This is better than the elf cave any day. No, it's not. It's just showing off. <laughs> not so fast, Strawberry Ice Queen. What brings you here, elf boy? Elf man, I've come to stop you. But you can't stop me. I'm the ice queen. <laughs> Oh, that's cold. Strawberry, the grown-ups are a bit cross about all the freezing snow. Oops, are they? Yes. yes. Are we in trouble? I don't think we're in trouble, as long as the game is over. OK. Do I win? No, the goodies win. That's not fair. You're stuck in the ice. Oh, OK, you win. Hooray! <laughs> Finally, I can get rid of the ice throne. My bottom is freezing. Oh, good! The sun is out! The 
little kingdom is saved. All thanks to Elfman and Fairy Girl. If only we knew their secret identities. But we never will. <laughs> Today's adventure starts at the little castle. Plumbing. Ah! Can someone fix this tap? What's wrong, Daddy? I just want to have a bath and the tap is dripping cold water on my toes. That tap's been dripping for ages. Shall I just fix it with magic? No, Nanny Plum! The last time you fixed a tap with magic, you flooded the whole kingdom. Oh, yes, so I did. You need a plumber. Good idea, Ben. Let's call the elf plumber. Hello, is that the elf plumber? Yes, this is the elf plumber. We've got a dripping tap. Ah, taps can be tricky. I'll be right over. OK, thanks. Goodbye. He'll be right over. The elf plumber is here, Your Majesty. That was quick. Good day. But that's just the wise old elf. I'll have you know I'm not just the wise old elf. I'm also a fully qualified plumber. Oh, good. Can you fix our tap? Yes. This is bad. Who put this tap in for you? You did. Ah, very good workmanship. You haven't been turning it on and off, have you? A bit, yes. When we use the bath. Ah, well, that's the trouble then. I was going to fix it with magic. No, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Well, can you mend it? Yes. Watch a master plumber at work. And that is how you fix a tap. Amazing. Oh, dear. Can't you just kick it again? Ho, oh, oh, ho, oh. ho! A nice idea, Your Majesty. But I didn't take three years of plumbing school to just kick things. That pipe will have to come out. The whole pipe? I'm afraid so. It'll need digging out. Fine. Do whatever it takes. Just get it fixed. Um, this might be a good time to get out of the bath, Your Majesty. Oh, right -o. Everyone stand clear! Hello? Darling sister, how are you? It's my sister, Queen Marigold. Oh, no! Great news. We've just had our castle rebuilt and we want you to come and see it. They want us to go and see their rebuilt castle. Oh, no! A visit to the snooty marigolds. Do we have to go? I'll handle this. King Thistle speaking. I hear you've had your castle rebuilt. Oh, it's very modern. All open plan, don't you know? Lots of space and air. Not like your stuffy old castle. Well, someone's doing up our castle too. He's very good. They're having the little castle done up. Oh, we simply must go and see. We'll be right over, darlings. Toodle pip. There's good news and bad news. What's the good news? Actually, it's just bad news. The marigolds are coming here. Oh, no! It gets worse. I told them someone was doing up the castle for us. Oh, yes? Who's that, then? You! Oh. It's always the same with the marigolds. They're just coming over to laugh at us. Oh, well, I'm sure the wise old elf can do something to make our castle a bit better. Yes, I've got a few ideas already. We can put in plastic windows and add a few garden gnomes. No, no, no! It needs to be super modern. I can do super modern. Concrete, glass, even taps that don't drip. That's more like it. Give me a year and I'll turn this castle into a palace. But the marigolds are coming today! Oh. And they're expecting a modern 
open plan castle. Don't worry, Queen Thistle. I can rebuild your castle. And we can help. Yes. Darling, why don't you go out for a nice walk and leave it with us? Why do I have to go away? Well, it's like one of those shows you see on the telly where you go away and they do your house up in a day and when you come back, it's lovely. Oh, I see. That sounds nice. Bye. Bye. When you come back, you won't recognise the place. Right. What's the plan? It's a big job. Can we get it done by tonight? Maybe, if we bodge it. What does bodge it mean? It's just a term we use in the building trade. Oh. Right. This wall has got to come out for a start. I suppose you know what you're doing. Don't worry. I always get the building inspector to check my work. Who's the building inspector? Me. But how can you inspect your own work? Oh, I'm very strict. Hmm, let me see now. Having some work done, are you? Ah, uh, yes. Dear, oh dear. Who did this for you? You did. It's very bad work. Very, very bad work. You see, when I'm the building inspector, I'm very strict. Yes, you said your own work was rubbish. Which means it will all have to be redone. This is going to be a much bigger job than I thought. <coughs> Calling all elves. I'll be needing the elf truck, the elf digger and the elf crane. Hello, wise old elf. What's the job? We need to take all this away. All what? All of the castle. Really? Yes. We're going to rebuild it from scratch. Right all. Come on, lads. Let's get cracking. Goodness, what a lot of noise. Take it away. Afternoon, Your Majesty. Ah, yes, um, carry on. That's everything, lads. Off you go. Daddy, they've taken the whole castle away. This is a disaster. Cooey. Oh, no, it's Mummy. Can I take a look now? Uh, only if you close your eyes. Oh, this is fun. Just like those shows on the telly. Can I open my eyes now? I wouldn't. Tell me when I can. Uh, in about a month. Oh! Where's our home gone? Uh, well... What do you think the marigolds will say when they see this? They'll laugh and laugh and laugh. <laughs> Darling sister. Oh, my word. Oh, I say. It isn't quite how we expected it to be. I don't know what to say. It's, uh, not finished yet. It's incredible. Amazing. We went for high ceilings. You went for no ceilings at all. And look at the toilet. Yes, completely open plan. It's so adventurous. Well, it was all mostly my idea. King, this is old boy. You're a born architect. Have you considered teaching architecture? Oh, I don't know. We must do this with our castle. Come on, darling. No time to lose. Sorry, we can't stay. Bye. 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 Well, that wasn't so bad, was it? Only because the marigolds are completely bonkers. <laughs> I want my home back. Nanny, magic the castle back, please. OK, but it'll have to be a very big spell. Thunder and lightning, blow, wind, blow. Back as it was, home sweet home. Ah, oh, that's better. My home is back. It's just how it was before. It's better than it was before. How? All that magic I used has also fixed the tap. Oh, well done, Nanny. I have to say, I'm impressed. 
Not one drip. Let's turn it on. <laughs> There's a fountain coming out of the toilet. There's a waterfall coming out of the sink. And rain coming out of the ceiling. Oh, dear. Maybe I shouldn't have done such a big spell. Like I said, you must never mix magic and plumbing. Today's adventure starts at the meadow. Nanny's magic test. Keep up, children. We don't want to be late for your magic test. Nanny Plum, why do we have to take a magic test? All fairies take a magic test. It's how you get your magic licence. This is mine. Ooh, will ours look like that? No, this is a grown-up licence. You'll be getting a children's licence. Who gives us the magic test? The elves do. But elves don't like magic. No, but we do make the wands. <laughs> <laughs> and elves do like tests. Good morning, everyone. Have you come for your magic test? Yes, yes Mrs. Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Yes, Mrs Examiner. Lift up these pebbles, please. Move them forwards. This is hard. Yes. Now backwards. When I clap my hands, stop. Excellent. And finally, one simple question. Magic must only be used for serious things or just for fun. Um, uh, is the answer. Magic must only be used for serious things. Correct. You've all passed the magic test. Hooray! And I'm Mrs Elf again. You may now hug me. <laughs> <laughs> well done, everyone. Here are your licences, signed by me, the Chief Examiner. I knew they'd pass because I taught them. That makes their success even more amazing. Thank you, wise old elf. Perhaps we should have a little celebration. Oh, yes. Can we have a party? And what every party needs is magic jelly. Uh, Nanny, I don't think that's such magic a... Magic jelly. Lots and lots. Mr Daisy, used a bit too much magic there. Nanny Palum, do you even have a magic licence? Of course I do. Oh dear, it's expired. What does that mean? It means it's worthless. Can't I do magic then? No, it's against the law. No grown-up fairy can do magic without a licence. What? I'm taking away your wand. You can't do that. I just did. It's an outrage. The king will be very angry. <laughs> it's not funny. You're right. It's not funny. <laughs> Nanny does not have a licence. She must not do magic. Yes, yes, wise old elf. But maybe we could overlook it just this once, as it's Nanny? It's because it is Nanny we shouldn't overlook it. She's dangerous. Wise old elf, I am your king and I must... Yes? Is your licence up to date, Your Majesty? My licence? Well, I'm sure. I mean, I... I, I Maybe I should take a look. Uh, no need for that. The wise old elf is right, Nanny Plum. Rules are rules. What? So I can never do magic again? Of course you can. Uh, can she? She will have to go back to magic school first. Magic school? Yes, Mrs Fig's magic school. Oh. Hello, Figgy. My name is Mrs Fig. You remember me, don't you? How could I forget? In all my years of teaching, I never had another pupil like you. Thank you. I was her best pupil. The wise old elf has taken away Nanny Plum's wand. Very sensible. And he has sent her back to your magic school. What? Yes, I'm back, you lucky old thing. Good luck, Nanny. Oh, I'm the one that'll need the luck. 
The first thing to know about magic is magic always leads to trouble. So, for our first lesson, you will not have a real wand. You will have this stick. What does it do? Nothing. Oh, why can't I have a real wand? You need to learn how to use magic sensibly. But I use magic for lots of sensible things. Like ironing the king's underpants or dusting the fridge or polishing the carpets or... Miss Plum, I am the teacher. If you want to pass your magic test, I suggest you start listening to me. Let's see how you hold your wand. No, 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 all wrong. You're making magic, not stirring soup. Is that better? It'll do for the moment. Now, a few questions. Can't we do a spell instead? How do you stop a squirrel nesting on your roof? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you get a mouse out of your kitchen? Uh, turn them into a frog. How do you rescue an elf who is stuck up a tree? Oh, I know this one. Turn them into a frog. Is that your answer to everything, Nanny Plum? Turn them into a frog? Yes. Oh, dearie me. This is going to be a long day. How was your lesson today, Nanny? Really good. I got a couple of things wrong at the start, but I got better and better all day. That's great. I'm all ready for my test tomorrow. Ask me any question you like. OK. How do you stop a mole from digging up your lawn? Turn them into a frog. Uh, no. That's not the answer in the book. Are you sure? Maybe you're reading it wrong. I don't think so. Oh, I find the answer to most things is turn them into a frog. Nanny, don't keep saying turn them into a frog. That will never be the answer. Oh, all right. I'll try and remember that. Morning, Nanny Plum. Have you come to take your magic test? Yes, Mrs Elf. Until the test is finished, I am not Mrs Elf. I am Mrs Examiner. Right you are, Mrs Elf. I'll take this one. Yes, Mr Chief Examiner. But that's not fair. I thought I was going to have Mrs Elf. Quiet, please. The test has begun. Here is your wand back. Oh, nice to see you again. Please lift this rock up in the air. But it's really big. I know. Can't I use a pebble? The pebbles are for the children's test. Why can't I take the children's test? Because you're a grown-up, or you're supposed to be. Ugh, all right. There. Mm-hmm. Now, forwards, please. Ah! <gasps> Whose rock is that? It belongs to the wise old elf. Just be careful. OK. Reverse, please. Slowly. Ah! What's happened to my castle? The wise old elf told me to do it. Sorry, Your Majesty. Now forwards again. And when I clap my hands, you must stop. No problemo. Stop. Stop! 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 <gasps> Whew. Oh, bring the rock back here. Now, I want you to magic this rock into something else. A frog? No. I can do frogs. An egg. What do you want an egg for? Oh, just do it, please. All right. Keep your hair on. <laughs> I said an egg, not a chicken. There, one egg. Did I pass? The practical test is over, but you still have to answer one question. How would you help a tadpole become a grown-up? Uh, to help a tadpole become a grown-up? Um, uh... Danny, what's your favourite spell? Turn them into a frog? Correct. I knew it! The test is over and it's bad news. Did I fail? It's worse than that. You passed. Hooray! You may now do magic again. Did you hear that wand? We're back in business. 
Oh, dear. Magic always leads to trouble. No, it doesn't. Show me one piece of sensible magic. OK. There's one piece of magic I've been wanting to do all day. What's that? Turn you into a frog. You can't do that. Oh, yes, I can. Here's my licence. Oh, dear. Frog time! Like I said, magic always leads to trouble. Today's adventure starts at the Great Elf Tree. Uncle Gaston. <laughs> Hi, Gaston. I'll be right down. <laughs> oh, you're blue. Have you got a cold or something? Thanks. Hi, Ben. Hi, Gaston. <gasps> What's happened to Gaston? <laughs> Nanny, you can speak, Ladybird. What's Gaston saying? <laughs> oh, he's saying he's not Gaston. He's Gaston's brother, Tony. <laughs> I didn't know Gaston had a brother. Me neither. <laughs> and Tony has come here with his family. This is Pam. <laughs> <laughs> And these are their children, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Ah, oh, look, they are so cute. <laughs> Hello, you lot. <laughs> They've come to visit Gaston, but they're lost. We'll take you to Gaston. Come on, this way. <laughs> Gaston, your brother Tony has come to visit. <laughs> oh, look! <laughs> they love their uncle Gaston. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. What? What is it? What are they saying? Well, they wrote Gaston a letter asking if he could look after their children for a day. <laughs> but he ate the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Gaston likes eating letters. So Gaston had no idea he was supposed to be looking after the little ones. <laughs> Don't worry, we'll help Gaston look after them. Yes, it'll be fun. <laughs> Bye! Nanny Plum! Oh, that's the king. What does he want? Nanny Plum! I can't find my glasses. Have you tried looking on your head? Oh, yes. Now, where's my crown? Nanny! Oh, I'll have to go. Have fun, you two, and Uncle Gaston. <laughs> 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 Keith's riding on Gaston's back. <laughs> now the other two want to go. <laughs> oh, Gaston looks a bit tired. Have a little rest, Gaston. We'll play with the baby ladybirds for a bit. Let's play fetch. OK, Amber, fetch. <laughs> <laughs> Emerald wants to go too. And Keith. <laughs> <laughs> They're very fast. Don't they ever get tired? <laughs> Hi, Ben. Hi, Holly. Oh, look. Baby lazy birds. Aren't they adorable? <laughs> They're called Amber, Emerald and Keith. And Gaston's their uncle. <laughs> They're a bit hyper. We know. They need a nap. When my little sister doesn't have a nap, she gets overtired. What happens then? She cries. <laughs> See what I mean? They can have a sleep in Gaston's cave. There you are, baby ladybirds. Now you can have a little rest. They don't seem very tired. Come on, lie down. Oh, they're not doing it. How can we get them to sleep? 
Hmm, to make my little sister sleepy, my mum reads her a storybook. Gaston's got storybooks. <coughs> but looks like he's eaten them all. I've got lots of storybooks back home. Ah, lovely clean washing. Gaston, no! I'm not having muddy footprints all over my washing today, thank you. Ah! Hi, Nanny. We've brought the baby ladybirds over. Yes, I see. <sighs> Tired today, eh, Gaston? At least that means you won't be jumping up on me and licking my face. <laughs> ah! Goodness me! Baby ladybirds. Yes, Amber, Emerald and Keith. Well, well. So Gaston is a girl ladybird after all. No, Gaston's a boy ladybird. He's their uncle. He's looking after them for the day. Are they house trained? Nearly. How adorable. Little puppy ladybirds. Can they stay, Mummy? I'm sorry, Holly, but it's of not... Of course they can. Yay! I'm going to read a storybook to make the baby ladybirds sleepy. Oh, but where are the baby ladybirds? They've gone! Sounds like they're upstairs. <gasps> they're in Daisy and Poppy's room. I'll go and get them. No, Ben. Daisy and Poppy can be a bit dangerous. I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> baby birds! Baby birds! Daisy, Poppy, they're not your dollies. They're baby ladybirds. Baby birds! Ruff, 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 ruff! Here they are! Um, how many baby ladybirds are there? Three. Hmm, there seem to be four now. And one of them's wearing a crown. Oh, no! That's Mummy! They've turned her into a baby ladybird. Baby bird! Baby bird! <laughs> Daisy, Poppy, it's very naughty to turn your mother into a ladybird. Oof! Thank you, darling. <coughs> oh, dear. It's all right, King Thistle. They're just getting overtired. Right. Where are your storybooks, Holly? In my bedroom. <laughs> they like Holly's bed. They've got so much energy. I love this storybook. No, Gaston. It's not for eating. Rockabye baby on the treetops. When the wind blows, the cradle will rock. When the bow breaks, the cradle will fall. And down will come baby, cradle and all. Down will come baby, cradle and all? That's not very nice. You're right. Um, what about this one? It's about ladybirds. Ladybird, ladybird, fly away home. Your house is on f... Oh, dear. This one's even more scary. How about this one? Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. Can't you make it more about ladybirds, Ben? OK. Once upon a time, there were three little ladybirds and they each built a little house. One was made of straw, one was made of sticks and one was made of bricks. What happened next? Well, one day, a big bad wolf came along to the straw house. And he huffed, and he puffed, and he... Does the story have a happy ending? Um, let's see. Uh, no. I mean, let's just say the three little piggies, I mean ladybirds, lived happily ever after. So the wolf didn't eat any of them? Not even one? No, no, no. Of course not. It was all happy. The end. Ben, look. They're all asleep. Oh, yes. We did it! What time are their mummy and daddy coming to collect them? Oh, I've just thought. Their mummy and daddy won't know where we are. Oh. 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 What is it, Gaston? Oh. He's heard something. Oh. 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 
Well done, Gaston. They found us. <laughs> oh, they've woken up already. How come they've got so much energy again? Mm, it might be something to do with them having a little sleep. Yes. My little sister's always got tons of energy after she's had a nap. Oh! <laughs> they do love their Uncle Gaston. And Uncle Gaston loves them too. <laughs> <laughs>